guys, it's me again. And today, I'm just gonna be doing like, like a talking video, cause I never really talk on my channel. Like, I just do hair reviews and that's it. But I'm gonna start spicing my channel up and doing more this summer, cause you know I don't really have anything else to do. So the volume on this video might be messed up because I got a new phone and like the speaker on this phone is like messed up and it's not like how my, my other iPhone was. So I plug my headphones and I'm like talking into the speaker of the headphones. So hopefully it's loud enough and you can hear it. If not, I'll like try to do a voiceover over what I'm saying, which might be terrible. So let's just hope this turns out good. So the hair that's on my head right now, I'm going to do an update video on this hair. This was hair that I received from the Weave House. I'll do, I'll leave the link of the um, unboxing of that hair. Okay, the light's too much. Of the unboxing of that hair up here so you can watch when I unbox the hair. So the video title that I'm doing is, as you can write the title, it was, um, how do you receive bundles as a small YouTuber? Because a lot of people always have something to say about me. They're like, oh, she really has a thousand subscribers. Why are all these companies sending her hair? Blah, 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 blah. They just like to run their mouths. But okay, obviously these companies like me. That's why they send me hair. So you can either get tips from me or you can keep talking about me and never get free hair. So Okay, so basically it's like don't make YouTube only to get free stuff. Like if you make your YouTube channel only because you want free hair, you're probably never going to get free hair. And the companies are going to be able to see that. You're going to, like, portray that in your videos that all you want is free hair. And obviously, nobody's going to send you hair because, like, if all you want is hair, that's this not a reason. You don't start YouTube because, oh, I want money. That's how I started YouTube. That's not why you start YouTube because you genuinely enjoy making videos and creating content for people to watch. Step one is establish your YouTube channel and don't start only for free hair. Like, if all you want is free hair, just don't even waste your time. Step two is, okay, look at my phone. Step two is to post videos consistently. I'm not saying that you have to make a video every day, but you shouldn't. Okay, I okay on my channel you will see that sometimes I go a month without uploading, and that's because sometimes I already have recorded a video. It's just that I never get around to posting it. So don't make a video in a one year gap and then you post another video. Like companies are gonna feel like they send you hair and it's gonna take take you like three months to do their review. And they probably aren't gonna send you the hair because they're gonna feel like you're just taking their hair. And not they they don't feel like you're gonna make the review about their hair, so you, you have to be consistent with your YouTube channel. Like I know, like before the video I uploaded two days ago, it was like a month I haven't uploaded, and that video that I posted, I I recorded that like three weeks ago. I just like literally it would have been a one week gap, but I just life happened. And I just didn't get around to uploading it. But see, I'm I'm over here making videos for y'all. I'm about to drop a rant video after this too. Maybe I'll record that one tomorrow so I can have like a new shirt on. I don't know. So yeah. So establish your YouTube channel. Post videos consistently. Step three. Post hair related videos. Don't start a YouTube channel and post videos about your dog and then expect to get free hair. Like why would somebody send you hair if all you post is videos about dogs? I'm not saying that your channel has to be completely based around hair. But you have to kind of incorporate hair into your channel. Because if you upload videos about how to fix a broken TV, how to blow up a hot air balloon. Why would somebody send you hair? Like nothing on your channel has anything to do with hair. So they're not going to want to send you hair. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to post something that has to do with hair. So yeah, post hair related videos. Step, um, is this that was step three? Step four is, okay. For me, I feel like I got lucky because my first hair review was hair that a company sent me i don't know i feel like because my sister used to do hair reviews she kind of put me on and like it helped me out but from that first review the reason other companies started reaching out to me was because when i did that first hair review i made sure that i like continue doing hair like like let's say okay let's i know hair is expensive you know people people don't want to go out and spend 300 dollars on bundles let's say you go to the beauty supply store and you buy like that one pack solution that you know the hair review i did on oh, that one pack solution that came with them um, those bundles in the closure let's say you went out and bought that yourself and you made a video on like how to style it how to make it look cute awesome stuff that will show a company that not only are you gonna get their hair and just be like this is hair you this companies like they don't want you to do this you get hair you be like okay this is the hair that the company sent me it, i got three bundles in the closure the end 
they don't want that they want you to do a video where you actually styling the hair where you're showing like how to make the hair look good because when you buy this turning this to this people need to know how to do that like not everybody knows people just think that when you like get bundles it just turns into a wig like it doesn't work like that companies want to see you become creative and like do stuff to show your subscribers how to make the hair look good because not all hair looks good fresh out of the box like some hair you do have to do like this hair it didn't look like this. If you watched the video when I first got this hair, this hair was like straight. It was straight and it wasn't that nice. Like it was bundles. Like obviously straight hair, you can make it look cute. But for me, since it was only 14 inches, it wasn't cute straight. So I had to cut it myself, flexi rod it myself, and make it look nice. If people see this, they're going to want to buy this. They're not going to want to buy like a straight bundle. Like they don't see nothing looking good on it. They're not going to want to buy it. So companies want to see you be creative in like your hair. Like show them that you can do something nice and then maybe they'll send you hair so yeah post hair related videos make sure you make videos about oh, the glare make sure you make videos about hair like if you buy hair you're obviously companies aren't just gonna you're not just gonna make a channel someone's gonna reach out to you it doesn't work like that you have to show effort like buy hair do a hair review it doesn't matter if you bought this hair and you make five videos about the hair let companies see that you can make five creative videos about one pack of hair let them see that step five you have to be you can't be shy you have to be open to reaching out to companies yourself like for me hair some hair reviews that i do i do email companies myself and be like hi i'm cassidy i'm a hair reviewer you my actual name is cassidy but you know okay. my name is chinoye but my school name, my American name is Cassidy. So when I email companies, I say, hi, my name is Cassidy. If I email you and I say, how many names is Chinoye? They're going to look at them like, what the fuck? What is a Chinoye? So I had to, like, you know, explain myself. But, you know, my YouTube channel is Noye's Life. Because I'm Nigerian all the way, you know. Uh -huh. So I use my, for me, I email companies myself. I'm like, hey, I'm Cassidy. Oh, I say hello. No, hey, you got to be proper, you know. I say hello, I'm Cassidy. I'm a hair review on YouTube. And I, like, I send them the link of my channel. Turn off your subscriber account. If you know you don't have 10,000 subscribers, turn off the account. Because when they when they click my channel, honestly, nobody knows how many subscribers I have. So I could legit email someone and say I have 10,000 subscribers. How would they know? They can't see my subscriber account. So I'm not saying that you should lie to companies because obviously I never lie to anybody. If you ask me how many subscribers I have, I say 500 because I have about 510 subscribers. I checked yesterday. It was like 500. And 11 I think yeah so if you if I email a company right now and when I email you I don't say how many subscribers I have I just say I'm a hair reviewer on YouTube I'm interested in working with your company all type of stuff and I leave the link of my channel in the email and I say email me back if you're interested if they email me back that's because they looked at my channel and they saw something they liked I didn't I don't email people in black like, I'm the best hair reviewer on YouTube I have a million subscribers I don't do stuff like that I leave the link to my channel so you're free to look yourself. If you're not interested in working with me, you don't have to email me back. But if you email me back, that's because you're interested. So if you email me back and you ask me how many subscribers I have, I will tell you I will tell you how many views I have. Currently, I have over 90,000 views total in my channel. So adding all my views of all my videos up, I have over 90,000. I'm almost at 100K views. So I'm like, I could sell hair basically. Like when I do reviews, I, I get about three to five comments that's not a lot but for me it's a lot i get about three to five comments and people ask me oh how do you feel about the hair like months later because they want to buy it so when i do reviews i do actually sell the hair and that's because i feel like like i genuinely enjoy what i do so people can tell that this makes me happy so i just want to like you know help other people that are looking because a lot of people have been asking me how do i get free hair so i was like i'm just gonna make a video about it and you know, here's my video so yeah that's what you, you gotta be open to emailing companies Please don't be an all day. Don't be an all day and email the most fam like don't email Kendra's Boutique. Don't email you nice hair. Don't email Ali Per Hair because they're gonna tell you hell no. If you don't have a lot of subscribers, they're not gonna send they're not gonna send you hair. So you have to look for undercover hair companies, like companies that like nobody knew no Weave House just came out. Like they followed me on Instagram and then I emailed like well no. No, they reached out to me. Some companies do generally reach out to me my, themselves, like, like, you know that blonde wig I did? Like, the one where, like, I don't know, I don't remember the company. I think it's, um, okay, I'm sorry, I really don't remember the hair company. I'm gonna leave the link, 
or a picture, something. I'm only probably I'm gonna put a clip of the hair right here. So that company, they reached out to me themselves, but for me doing videos for them, other companies reached out to me. Like you get it? Like Sam's Beauty, that was my first ever hair company to work with, and I'm gonna do a I'm doing a random video on them later. But for me, I emailed them first, and that's when they started sending me synthetic wigs. And from synthetic wigs, human hair companies started emailing me talking about can I review the hair like this? Human hair. I don't do that many synthetic reviews anymore because so many human hair companies have been reaching out to me because of me doing synthetic hair reviews. You get what I'm saying? So don't email really big companies because they're not they're not gonna take you seriously. So you have to look for undercover companies like Weave House. Um you can start off with synthetic companies, like you could go to um So Good Shop, um don't email Sam's Beauty. You could go to um Ebony Line. You could go to um, there's more hair companies that sell synthetic wigs. I just can't think of them right now. So you can go to companies like that and email those kind of companies first because they'll probably send you hair because they can is they can see that you're trying to make an effort. You get what I'm saying? But I feel like you should start off by showing them that you're interested in becoming a hair reviewer. Don't just email a company and have no videos because you're not going to get any hair. And if you have zero subscribers, you probably aren't going to get any hair either. You have to actually grow your channel first before someone is going to want to send you something. Nothing in life comes easy. Like my first hair review, okay, videos before my first hair review, some of them I deleted because they were like terrible. Oh my God, did I say good quality videos already? I I'm going to go up to that. So some of the bad quality videos I deleted them already because they like they just aren't good. So always always make videos before you reach out to companies and you never know one day a company might respond. But don't reach out to a big high 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 companies because they're not gonna look at you seriously. Especially if you don't have over a thousand subscribers, they're not even gonna read your email. So don't even waste your time. Quality videos matter as well. I think I skipped that. I'm not sure if I already said that. So I'm going to just say it again. If I did, I'll cut this part off. Quality videos are important. You do not need to go buy a Canon, whatever those cameras are called. You need to go buy those expensive cameras. You don't need to go buy a ring light. You don't need to go buy backdrops, all this stuff for your first YouTube video. Because what if you buy all that stuff, you make a video, and you get five views? What will you do after that? You really wasted thousands of dollars on something and you might not even like youtube like be, being a youtuber after all and you just waste all of them like what are you gonna do with what freaking backdrops ring lights and all that oh you can even like for, for your makeup but what if you don't even do makeup what are you gonna do with all that stuff after you realize that you don't like youtube that's why personally for me i don't think you should go and spend so much money on your first video like maybe like i just ask myself when i reach a thousand subscribers i'll buy a ring light I'm not at a thousand yet, so I don't feel like I need to buy a ring light. People are watching me and my and my camera and my natural lighting so far, so what I need a ring light for. So that's just me. I just feel like you don't need to buy all that expensive stuff to be a successful YouTuber. Like I think her name is the Tastemaker. I love her so much. And she records on her iPhone 6S just like me. You don't need an expensive camera to be a good YouTuber, and that's just how I feel. Yeah. I hope that wasn't like sidetrack. That's really all you need to to you know start getting free stuff on YouTube. Remember, don't start YouTube because you want free stuff. Don't reach out to really big companies, but reach out to small companies. Make sure your videos are good quality. Make sure you upload consistently, and make sure that you upload hair related videos. And that's really it. That's all I have to say about this topic. I love you guys. You know, don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Um, I'm going to be up recording more videos. So, you know, we're going to get some videos. Yeah, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, you know, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to if you want to, you know, if you just want to see more of me. I love you guys. Peace.